Hi, this is Karen Hogan, and I'm one of your instructors for HIT, and I'm going to be um, discussing with you, giving you some tips on how to use APA format in Google Docs. Um, it doesn't play as nicely as Word does, so I'm going to give you some suggestions here on how to do this. The first thing I want you to pay attention to is to make sure that you are reading the assignment. All right, um, this has to be a 500 word um, paper. Make sure that you're covering the topics. You need to find a visual. Now, if you can embed this visual into the um, Google Doc, that's great. Um, otherwise, if it's problematic for you, please feel free to just send me um, one member of the group, send me the visual via email. And because I want to be sharing these, with, so I will be creating an announcement with all of the visuals in it. Um, also, remember that because this is on Google Docs, I am going to be correcting in that format. Um, you do not need to upload to Blackboard. All right. Um, couple other points before we get started. Um, the toolbar is up here. Your formatting bar is here. Let's say you're working within it and you have accidentally deleted someone's content. You go to File, go down to Revision History. If you, as an individual student, want to save this um, document to your own personal files, which is always a good idea, again, File, and then Download As, and you can choose your format. I will periodically be making comments. You can see I've already put a co couple comments in here today. Let's add a new one. Let's try to add a new one. Here we go. I do look at these documents um, throughout the course of the week. Um, you do not need to have a Gmail to work in this. Um, um, if you do, though, you will see the um, um, address of the person. Sometimes I find that students um, find it beneficial to choose a various color so that when you're working in here, um, then um, you can know who has been working and what color they've cho by what color they've chosen. This is, this is a platform in which you can work. Um, um, it, it, during the week, it's not. It's a working document. The one thing that I have found with students, um, as I've taught informatics over the years, is that most students don't initially like using Google Docs. I don't know if any of you have, but usually by the end of the assignment, they realize the value of having this kind of platform versus emailing a Word document back and forth and never knowing which re, which version of the what do you have the correct version or not. So you can also use um, Google Docs in um, Excel, Excel spreadsheet type of um, format and also for PowerPoints. All right, you've been working on this all week, and you've got some content in here. And um, down at the bottom, let's say you've been writing, and now you're getting ready to format. The first thing that you need to do is, is to get rid of everything that's in here. All right. So I'm going to delete all this. I usually suggest that one person end up being responsible for formatting this paper um, towards the end. Make sure that it's uh, formatted according to APA and that your references are formatted correctly. The first thing that you need to do is to insert a header. Now, I am not going to be having you insert a title page. Normally, that's a requirement of APA, and on your title page, you put the, the, the title of the paper, your names. Um, if, if you insert a header and it says running head and then the short title of your paper in caps. I'm not going to have you do that because Google Docs gets a little weird. Now, if someone else knows how to quickly do this, um, that would be great, but I have yet to figure out how to, how, to, how to create it in the same document. You have to create another document and then merge them. So you will not have to do that. But you do have to put a running head on this. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up here, go up to Insert, come down here and put Header. 
Now your running header on second and subsequent pages, which is in essence where we're starting, is just a short title, 50 characters and all, in caps. So this is going to be And then what I need to do is I need to come over here and I need to, to um, enter a page number. So I'll tab over. And I do not just put the number one. I go to insert and put page number and then I have a choice. Now you can see I was a little far over. So what I need to do is to put the cursor in front of the one and press delete. Now that doesn't look like APA format. So let's see. I got Arial 14 and I got some funky color. So I need to change this. This needs to be Times New Roman. It needs to be 12 and it needs to be black. Though I like colors, um, it just does not work in a paper, professional paper. So I'm changing all of this. And then I'm done with my header, and this will carry through on, um, on other pages. There we go. The next step is to put in, a t in, a, in the title. In order to do that, I'm going to have you um, um, center your title. You're going to put the title of the page paper. And then all of your names. Now again, you can see that I've gone back to Arial Font, so I need to change this. Again, Times Roman, 12, and just to make sure it is black. Now I'm ready to write the body of the paper. That needs to be left justified. You can see that I have one inch margins here and over here. So I'll start the paper by indenting and then to start writing. Yes, regarding and on. Now the other thing that you need to make sure is that your paper is double spaced. So you come up to tool, up to format, sorry, to format, and go down to line spacing and then down to double. All right, you are done writing. You've been writing away. And now you're ready to put your references in. The easiest way to do this is to make sure your references get on, the, on, a, on a separate piece of paper, is to go up to Insert and go down to Page Break. Now you are in on a clean page. You're going to want to center this call it references, and then begin your references. Um, normally papers who are papers that are longer um, need an abstract and they usually will have um, different levels of header, header one, header two. Um, because this is such a short paper, um, I am not requiring that um, those um, requirements for this, but you should always check with your faculty to make sure that you've got all the components of APA that they want. All right, just some um, um, final points to close. Make sure you read the assignment. Do not upload to Blackboard. I will grade in here. Um, make sure you follow APA, except no title page required, but make sure you put all your names on it. Um, send me an email or wrote, write a note in here if you have questions. Um, references should be researched and peer reviewed. Now, you only got to find three references and uh, you will find a load of references on EHR implementation. Wikipedia just does not cut it in terms of a reference in nursing school. And then lastly is collaborate. Um, well, I think I can spell that. <laughs> you know what I mean. Collaborate and have some fun. Um, um, nursing and healthcare is all about collaboration. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to have a group assignment um, so that you can start working together. Thanks. And if you, as, as always, if you have any questions, let me know.